Welcome back to Soda City Live. With the Christmas holiday just around the corner, it's certainly time to get in the spirit of Christmas. And what better way than with the classic tale of the Nutcracker? Columbia Music Festival Association presents the Nutcracker is performed by Ann Brody's Carolina Ballet and they will feature two amazing shows that you can check out next week and here to tell us all about how you can witness the magic is the amazing a part of the amazing team that allowed this to happen so we have Mimi Worrell she is the artistic director with guest artists in residence we have Sakura and we also have Leonardo thank you both or all not both for joining us today thank you for, thank having, you. Thank you for a, having us it is such a pleasure to have you now I have to say this when I was in the third grade, our school, we did a play and we did the Nutcracker. I'm not gonna say a play, we did a mock ballet. We weren't like formally trained and I was the, with the flowers. I had like the flowers and that was fun. So that is my core memory. But I wanna know, um, how do you all prepare for a classic production such as the Nutcracker? Well, we've got a couple of different things we prepare for. We've got musicians that are gonna be playing live for us. The so they have yes. prepared and we have a children's choir that will be singing with us. And we're all responsible for the dancers. So we have dancers, um, we have over 200 people that will be involved on stage with us. Um, we've got children that dance, that study dance. We're a civic ballet company, so we're open to all qualified dancers. So we have people coming from all over the, the Midlands to be with us. But we also have a pre-professional program. So our students aspire to dance professionally and um, they receive training every day. And then we have beautiful guest artists that share their time yes. and talent Residency. with us as well that um, are professional dancers as well. Awesome, so a lot of moving parts yes. and it's very well done. Very, yes. very well done. Um, what is one of your favorite parts? I'll talk with our, with our artists down here. What are your favorite parts of being, um, doing the Nutcracker versus any other productions that you've had? Uh, to me is the union. The brings years. everybody together and get ready for the yeah. Christmas celebrations. Yeah, it's like a story that we all know, but it's sure. so it's so fun to see it told in, yes. in different ways. And the choreography, I want to talk a little bit about the choreography. Is it um, is there like a traditional choreography that everybody uses, or do you all have your own choreography that you work on? We. Ann Brody um, actually choreographed a good, a good bit of this particular ballet, and we also use some of the um, original choreography from time to time. And we change, depending on the students, depending on the guest artists, we'll do different portions of it. Our, our second act, The Land of Sweets, we always have the traditional different dances from the different countries, but we change the choreography to fit who we have. Beautiful, and Sakura, you are the sugar plum fairy. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about that. Tell us how you enjoy what it is that you're doing or what it is that you are doing for this production. Um, so she's a um, queen of Land of Sweet, and uh, we started dancing with a slow music and then we get to have the solo part and at the end we both dance back again and this very music gets very excited and it's a lot of turns and jumps yeah. and I get to have more in the backstage there's a student or an audience is just screaming <laughs> and clapping I love that part to be in the stage especially this time with a live orchestra yeah. for each performance it's I feel very grateful it's to beautiful. be beautiful. It just it's beautifully just together, you know, yes. with the music yeah. and the singing and the dancing. And how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since I was nine years old. Nine. Wow. Yes. And what about yourself, Leonardo? Me? I have been dancing since I was fifteen, sixteen years old. Okay. Yes, and in this particular production I mean performing the Nutcracker and the Nutcracker Prince. There's a transformation at the yeah. end of the first act and I become from a doll, like these ones, yeah. I become a beautiful prince. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And Mimi, as the artistic director, what is your responsibility when it comes to getting the show prepared? Basically coordinating the different moving parts, but also um, one of the things that I like most is telling people about classical ballet yeah. and te telling people about Columbia, South Carolina. Our dancers from Amberty's Carolina Ballet dance all over the world now, so we're really you know, blessed and pleased about that. But Friday evening we have a performance that's, that honors our first responders. Oh, so wow. if we have anyone, um, Columbia, Richland County, um, that are first responders, we have tickets available for them to come and be our guest at the ballet. And we do have those performances on Wednesday morning at 10, um, Friday evening and Sunday. Um, and so I love to publicize yeah. the ballet, but basically it's being able to be involved with 
um, the dancers themselves, the families, and we do two school performances for all the third graders yeah. in Richland County School District 1 and 2. And hearing them, that's our best audience. Yeah. Um, some of them have never seen live dance before. And just to touch those lives, I think those are the things that, that I enjoy most, being able to, to pass on the tradition yeah. to the next generation. You know what, and, you, I, and I'm so glad you said that. I actually think this is the, the ballet that I saw when I was in District 1 mm -hmm. in the third grade getting ready for this production. Mm -hmm. And I just remember seeing it because I played ball uh, did ballet when I was four, but I had to stop. But I was just like, oh man, they just look so mesmerizing and they look so poised and so perfect and I can't wait for my ballet you know my performance and and this like you said really introduces ballet and the Nutcracker to an audience that may have never right. ever experienced it ever before and I know it's going to be a phenomenal performance break a leg we have the details right here on the screen of all of, uh, of the two performances so there's one Friday and, the, um, and Saturday um, and those details are right there on your screen. And we'll also have these details on our website, sodacitylive.com. Um, I want to thank all of you for joining thank us you. today. Thank and you. I'm going to get us a, a little bump shot on the, on the, the nutcrackers. This is awesome. <laughs>